I have a quick video for you with two of my favorite putting drills. One for distance control and the second for direction. And all we need, a couple tees, some kite string, and four golf balls. I, however, like to use little skewers that I got at the Dollar General store with the kite string instead of the tees, but we'll get to that in just a second. So let me get set up and we're gonna get started. Two putting drills, one for distance and one for direction. The first drill, see it, feel it, and sense it. This is a distance control drill. Here's the setup. My target is a fairly straight, slight downhill putt. 12 foot back, a tee goes in the ground. Another 12 foot, a second tee. So we have 12 and 24, four golf balls. You're gonna roll all four of these and all we're trying to do is work on distance. That's the most important thing when you get outside of 10 foot is distance. So the very first one, it's see it, feel it, and sense it. See it, I set up to it, I'm looking at the target. Once I set up, I will look at the target the entire time. I will never look back down at the ball. I'll look at the target and then you just roll it. And all I'm trying to do is get it within a foot or two of that target. The second ball, feel it. I will look one inch ahead of this golf ball and I will not look back up at the target once I'm set. All I'm trying to do is feel the distance based on the strike and the speed at which I hit it. So I'm set up, I look one inch ahead on the ground, keep my eyes there, and I will not look up until I think the ball is just about to stop there. The third ball, sense it. This is by far the hardest. You're gonna hit it with your eyes closed, but you're gonna get a really good sensation of where you hit the face and distance. You'll also be able to tell if you push or pulled it as well. So set up to it, look at your target, and trust me, I do have my eyes closed. So close your eyes and then roll it. That felt like a little bit toey. I actually made that one. And then the last ball, go through your routine and you're actually trying to make it. So set up to it, whatever the routine you have, look at your target, set up to it. See it, feel it, sense it. Phenomenal drill for working on distance control. After you've done that, back up to 24 foot and repeat the whole process. And then if you want to, you can give yourself an uphill putt and you can do this with breaking putts as well. Great drill for distance control. See it, feel it, sense it. Okay, I had the second drill set up. It's called on the line. The setup here, kite string that's 18 foot long. The skewers, they have it elevated. And here's the reason why I like to use skewers. It elevates the string so that I can put underneath it and I have to worry about hitting the kite string. You can use tees, but it's definitely easier with skewers. And so if you find them in the Dollar General, grab them, throw them in your golf bag. Now on the string itself, I, every three foot, I use a magic marker just to put a little tick on it so I can do three, six, all the way up to 18 so I can vary my distances. This is a distinct direction target line drill. You can see your target line. You can see if you can start the ball down your target line. This is important because when you're inside a 10 foot, direction is way more important than distance control. Outside of 10 foot, distance control is more important because you're just trying to get it close so you can tap it in. But when you're inside a 10 foot, you should be trying to make it. And here's a great example. That four and five foot putt to give so many players trouble. You could have the correct line, hit it too firm, it could hit the hole and still fall in. Or you hit it too soft, it can make it to that front edge and still fall over the lip and get in the hole as well. But you can have perfect distance, wrong line, and you miss 100% of those. So you can see how important it is to be able to hit your target line. The kite string, one of the easiest ways to do it. So I have it set up at 12 foot. From here, I can see my line, and let's see if I can just roll it down this line and get it close to making it. There it is. Great, great drill. This is absolutely one of my most favorite. Two drills, one for distance control, one for direction. All you have to do is practice. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. Do me a favor, hit that like button and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.